Every winter, the nation's capital gets transformed into a winter wonderland. Celebrating its 37th year, winter loot has become a Canadian tradition during the winter months. Ottawa's winter celebration was created in 1979 to celebrate Canada's unique northern climate and culture. Every February, hundreds of thousands of visitors come out of hibernation to take in all the sights and activities the festival has to offer. There are some really important milestones that we're celebrating this year, things that are important to Canadians, such as the 50th anniversary of the Canadian flag, the 200th anniversary of Sir John A. Macdonald's birth, of course, Canada's first Prime Minister, and the Year of Sport in Canada. And you'll see those themes reflected throughout Winterlude in the activities that we're showcasing. To mark the Year of Sport in Canada, visitors will be invited to admire sport-themed ice sculptures, play soccer in the snow with the FIFA Women's World Cup mascot, and try their hand at a number of winter sports. A highlight of the festival is the Crystal Garden, where carvers put their talents to the test at the famous International Ice Carving Competition. Now in its 28th year, the contest attracts professional ice carving teams from around the world. In Jacques Cartier Park is Snowflake Kingdom, that's over on the Gatineau side, and that's where you'll find the giant snow slides that people love to go down. It's North America's largest snow playground with all sorts of sporting activities. And of course, there's activities taking place on the Rideau Canal Skateway, the world's largest skating rink. This year, Winterlude organizers encourage visitors attending the festival to catch the spirit, dream, play, excel 